Good morning. I come to you today uh, with a little different than I normally do. I was very distraught and disappointed by the actions of a few of our students yesterday. I think I sent the letter out and you saw it. So many of you came and so graciously, Mr. Nays, are you okay? And I am. Uh, however, what is hurt is my sense of what our school is about. I've known this place, all of you, as people that care, that respect each other, that make us one community. And I think we need to dig back and really consider how all of us are responding to, you know, violence and threats. If we look at the world today, there's some horrible things, and Ukraine is probably the most prominent right now. What is being solved over there with violence? I don't know, but people are getting hurt, families are being destroyed, and nothing positive is coming from it. In a microcosm, similar to like that yesterday, our own people, our own students, combating each other, trying to hurt each other, and what are we going to accomplish from that? Let's put ourselves back into the mode of we are one community. We look out for each other. If we have disagreements, and we will, let's find ways to talk it through, to use other resources. We have counselors, we have teachers. All of us are here to support you and care for you. So I ask you as students, each one of you, and I know so many of you, and I know so many of you care and say, what can I do? The most important thing you could do is express yourself and show yourself as a caring, kind human being. I've talked to many times, especially to my kindness group, that kindness is hard sometimes. In fact, it's harder than being, you know, something else. You think, oh, kindness is great. I pat my friend on the back, that's a nice shirt. That's easy, but sometimes kindness says I need to say something that involves my friends because they may be in danger. Whether it's around uh, bad behavior or use of a substance, whatever it is, sometimes you gotta step up and say, yes, my friend will be mad at me. However, I care about them more than what they realize. So as we go forward, my expectations is that we have all of us work together. I do also let you know though, those that got involved in those, the consequences are very serious. We're not taking this lightly. It's not gonna be saying business as usual for those students. Those consequences are very serious and anyone that involves themselves in acts of violence will be dealt with very seriously because it is wrong and it is not good for us. I really thank you for listening. I want to wish all of you uh, the best. I am not going to be here today and tomorrow. I'm going to be at uh, down in Burbank at the CIF conference. But you know, all of our staff, Mr. Boysen, Ms. Tower, and everyone will be here for you if needed. So for all of us, let's work hard. Let's be kind to one another. Have a great day. And now, here is the leadership report. Welcome back to this week's video. Um, we have a little revamp of the Good News Network coming up. Yes, and lots of exciting news uh, regarding the March birthday. So stay tuned and let's get on with the video. Oh, hey cougars, I didn't see you there. Do you want to look as cool as us? Well, follow me. Let's take you to the new upcoming cougar cart. The Cougar cart is right over here. It's going to be sold during upcoming lunches. What are some of the things that we're selling, Olivia? We are selling some paws, some beanies. We have some uh, lanyards for your keys. Sunglasses. We have pencils and And your very own water bottle. Make sure you come check it out, Cougars. You will not want to miss this. Is your birthday in March? 
Do you want a special treat during lunch? March birthdays this Friday. You'll get a pass and to get your special treat at the Student Spirit Store. Yes, yeah, so head on over there and happy birthday. We approve this message. Hey, how's it going, Cougars? Welcome back to the Good News Network, and today let's start things off with the animal kingdom. So, recently in the southern tropical Andes, uh, which comprises areas of Ecuador, Peru, and Bolivia, is one of the world's most biodiverse regions, especially when it comes to amphibians. You see, the area is home to about 980 amphibian species, including over a half of the 150 known glass frog species. Now, two new members of these tiny frogs have joined the ever-growing list. You see, the underside of these frogs is completely see-through due to two things, a lack of, th or a lack of skin, so thin skin, and secondly, a lack of pigmentation, allowing you to see through, allowing you to see its beating heart, its organs, etc. Quite fascinating, I must say. Now, that's all for this week's Good News Network, so I'll see you next week with the new, the wacky, the zany, and the fun things. See y'all later. Thanks for watching, Cougars. Have a good rest of your day. Hey, Cougars. Uh. Wednesday Club is hosting a movie night here at the high school. Yeah. We'll be watching Spider-Man No Way Home. Uh. This will be on Friday, April 8th at yeah. 6.30 p.m., and we'll be collecting a $6 uh. donation. Come and hang out with friends yeah. and come and support Wente.